Guess who's back? Back again. Louise is back. Tell a friend to subscribe, to subscribe, to subscribe. Or just watch. Just be happy with people watching these days, let alone subscribing. <laughs> well, hello. It's been a long old while since I've done a sit down on the bed video. I feel weird about it. I don't know why I do because I've been doing this gig for a long old time now. I've had this channel since January 2010. Um, which is a long time, but every single time I go to pick up the camera, I still feel that very low level little bit of nerves. And because it's been a while since I've like sat here and done a sit down vlog, um, I don't know, I've been kind of self sabotaging. So I've had ideas of stuff I want to film. I've wanted to do um, a mum guilt video. I've wanted to do a video um, about 10 years on um, the internet because that's coming up in September. Loads of ideas. But every time I do them or, or think to do them, I think, oh no, I, I need to research it more or I won't do a good job or I, I, need, like, I always put something in the way, basically. Um, so here I am, um, kind of doing a bit of a reset, reminding myself that I can do this, I do like doing this. And I'm doing a Q&A. I asked you all in my video um, that went up last week on my little like family day to Stamford um, if you could give me some cues that I could A for you. Um, and I'm going to A them all today. There's no um, sequence to them. I've just screenshotted some and I've put them in a file. So I'm going to go through them all. Um, is there A, O, B to talk about? Um, I know I will get asked. This was from ASOS. I will link it. This t-shirt says blessed was from America a while ago from Old Navy. So I, I don't know if it will still be there. It was like a year ago. And yes, my hair is so fabulous. Um, my lovely stylist Alicia does it for me. You know, I had like the stretch roots with blonde. We've just turned the blonde pink. Um, I will leave her Instagram. So if you are in the Northamptonshire area and you do want your hair doing, you can go to her if you like. Um, yeah, I'll just get cracking with the with the questions and answers. So this question is from Cassie, and it is: Do you still see Brummy Emma, and will you be bringing any merch out? And the quest, the answer to that is: Yes, I still see her, and no, I don't have any plans to bring out any merch as such just yet. And by merch, I mean kind of like um, hoodies, hats, that kind of stuff. I've not actually ever had any merch, and the reason for that is there's nothing. That I feel like would really fit like our community like this as a brand um there's nothing that I'm super passionate about like Romy has mugs because mugs are her thing she collects mugs she does her morning mug on insta stories like she's a mug person don't know what I would like cats <laughs> live cats <laughs> would be my merch. I would really like to have another clothing line because I'm really enjoying do doing a lot of plus size styling at the moment so that would be nice. Um, I would also enjoy to have something baby related but at the moment there are no plans for merch. Celia asks what's your favourite song at the moment? What's your favourite colour and can you tell us some embarrassing moments? Um, and my favourite song at the moment is not really a song but I have been playing spa music an awful lot lately. Um, I just go on this video that's like three hours long, so there's loads of spa music. I will link this for you as well. Um, and I just have it going in the background and I find that it really, like, brings me down. Not down as in, in down in mood, but sometimes, or quite often, I feel like I'm quite tense, like I'm going <gasps> like this, like I'm almost on the ceiling, like Ugh! and then having that music just kind of ooh, brings me back to like a normal level. So I'm going to say my favourite song at the moment is just <laughs> the YouTube spa video of songs, which just I like a lot. My favourite colour is pink, as always. Um, any embarrassing moments? Celia, my life is a string of embarrassing moments. Um, I will save that for a whole nother video. I'll have to think of some that I can easily share. Um, but yes, I have a lot of embarrassing moments all, all the time. E every day of my life. Every single day of my life. Charlie asks, do you feel like you benefited from your degree? Um, and she says, not your time at uni, rather the things you learnt. I'm assuming you mean academically. Um, no. <laughs> I don't really feel like specific I don't feel like the specific learnings of my degree 
have had an impact on my life now. So for reference, I did a psychology and biology degree, focusing mainly on evolutionary biology to go hand in hand with kind of developmental psychology. And I haven't really used much, or like I can't think of a single time I've used, you know, forensic science in my day-to-day -day life as a business owner and social media marvel. <laughs> I, I, I haven't. But um, I, I, the two things I think have been beneficial from university are the life experience, but I think you were getting at that when you were like, not your time there. But I think university, uh, the academic side of university teaches you a lot of skills like diligence and motivation because it's not like school where your teacher's like, how are you getting on with that project? Where's that project? They're not on your back at university. They're just like, here's the assignment, off you go, see you later. Um, so it definitely teaches you to research to put the time in to time management um to that's good english isn't it to manage your time um so i think i i hopefully learned something um you've got to say you've learned something haven't you otherwise it was like a massive waste of time and money um so yeah academically no life skills most definitely so Cara asked a couple of questions, she said, are you going to be uploading your Centre Parks videos? Um, and then it was, uh, when do you think you'll allow Darcy to have her own social media? Is that something she's interested in? So Centre Parks, yes, I am. I'm having some problems with the files. If anyone's got tips for this, let me know. I filmed it all on this camera on my normal SD card, and then I put all that on my hard drive. And then when I went to take it off the hard drive and put it into my editing software, which is Final Cut Pro, it was all red um, and said something about existing file not found. Um, and so it freaked me out and I've just left it. I could just go back to it, but that's what's happened with Centre Parks. But I do want to upload that footage because um, I think that'd be interesting and it was nice memories. As for Darcy with social media, yes, she does want to have social media. Um, she doesn't necessarily say that she wants to have um, an Instagram account or a Facebook account, but she does often say she wants to be in vlogs. Um, she says, you know, she wants to have her own phone and all that kind of stuff. And I think being on social media and seeing the amount of comments I see, like if I added up all the comments I've had in nine years, I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the millions. I, I don't want her to have it for a very long time. I don't think a child her age is at the right age for it. I don't want to, I feel awkward saying that because there might be people there that your kids are eight and they might have phones and social media accounts. Um, I don't want her to have it now. I think she's too young. I think that a child of Darcy's age is not mentally, uh, is not, is not emotionally or mentally strong enough to have those open lines of communication with people um, people they do know and people they don't know um, I think that at that age they're still learning how to be a little person they're still learning how to talk to people how to respond to anything that people say to them whether it's good or bad and I think giving them that digital tool to say whatever they like with the feeling of no consequence because they're not seeing that reaction in front of their face and they perhaps don't have the cognitive development yet to think that th there's implications to what they're saying to someone um as they would if they were in the playground and this says something horrible they would instantly see someone upset or angry or hurt um I, I just don't think she's ready for it now and i don't think that people are ready for it for a long time i mean i'm 34 and sometimes i read things that really upset me um, so, I mean, if I had my way, I'd wait till she was like solid 18, <laughs> but I would imagine we're gonna have to cross that bridge sooner. But for now, I've got absolutely no plans of letting her have any kind of social media of her own. Um, I'm happy for her to be on my channel because I carefully edit her and I always try and minimize any kind of future impact. So, for example, kids say weird things all the time and as a mother I might think oh that's really cute you're so funny um but in like 10 years time she might be like mum that's so embarrassing that you put that up there so I chop a lot of Darcy out of things sorry Darcy um to protect her um and I just don't want her to have that freedom with the internet just yet that was a long answer but I, it's pretty comprehensive <laughs> Savannah asks, do you have any words of wisdom or encouragement for somebody going through a big life shift? And yes, I do. 
Um, if it is a hard life shift, I will say um, something I always cling to is this too shall pass. Everything is temporary, even the good stuff, unfortunately, so just grit your teeth. I can't tell you how many times in my life I've been grit your teeth at times, um, and in those times of gritting my teeth, I have a little saying, and apologies, it's a bit, it's a bit sweary, and it's don't let the bastards grind you down. Um, I have, I'm a really sensitive soul, and I'm really easy, like I emotionally bruise very easily, but at the core, I'm like pretty, de pretty strong and determined. Um, so there's been lots of times where I think, you will not this, this, or you will not break me. Um, so there's, so there's that, just like, sit tight, like a little rock, and be like, mm, I can handle this, I can withstand this. Um, and if it's just a life shift that's challenging, like, I don't know, starting a new job, or, um, moving house, and it's not like a bad, like, thing, but just like a, whoa, this is a lot thing, um, remember that those things make you so much stronger, and whatever you're going through now will pass and there'll be a lull and an easier time and you'll look back and you'll be like, I am amazing that I did that. So sit tight, um, take care of yourself, lots of bubble baths, um, you know, a little bar of chocolate here and there doesn't help. See your friends, talk to people. Um, but yeah, whatever's happening, uh, I hope that it goes well for you. And I know that all of this community hopes as well. So if you want to leave a lovely message for Savannah below, like a good luck, we're here behind you. I'm sure that she would appreciate that a lot. Hetty asks, are you planning for any more children? And the answer is not currently. Samantha says she has just qualified as a nurse at the ripe old age of 40. Um, and she is so happy to have achieved her dreams. And what dream do I hope to achieve in my life? Well, first of all, Samantha, congratulations. You are amazing. And I think nurses do an incredible job. I have a friend who's a nurse and I just think, wow, hats off to you because you work bloody hard so thank you for being a nurse um in my life my main 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 goal is to always be able to care for and provide for my children um I think before I had children my goals were slightly different obviously <laughs> of course they were um but now everything I do at the back of my mind I'm thinking how how can I use that to benefit them in the future I have a, like a, a deep-rooted fear that I won't be here in the future. This is based on my mother dying when I was little, so I've grown up around loss and bereavement, um, and I, I just, I don't know what it is, it's just like, oh, this could happen to me, this could happen to me. So I'm constantly trying to find ways to provide for them, um, and like putting investments in places, and I have like a, a will, um, and I save things for them, and I tell people like, if I die, I want you to do this, that, and the other. So. <laughs> My life goal, I suppose, is to see my children, to live, <laughs> to live to a really ripe old age um, and die peacefully in my sleep and my children to be happy. This got really deep, really quickly. Um, I would also like to stay at every Disney resort in what in Florida. <laughs> That's like a less thought I ought to bring that back a bit and tone that down somewhat. Yeah, they've got loads of really lovely hotels. I'd like to try all of those hotels. Um, that's like a more cheery one, but the other one is just to live till my old age and for my children to be safe, happy and well. So Gabrielle has asked, um, do I have any advice, tips or tricks for new mummies? Um, anything I think would be a great buy. Um, she's due to have a first in October and she is overwhelmed with mild happiness and mild fear. Um, first of all, congratulations on being pregnant. Second of all, everybody is overwhelmed with fear and happiness. So don't worry about that. That's, I think, pretty normal. Um, I was like, you said mild fear and mild happiness. I was very acute on both of those. The thing that I would say has been like the best material thing that I always say to new mums, like if you can afford to invest in this, do, is a doona car seat. Oh my God, it's so good. It was a PR gift to me when I was pregnant. And when I got it, I was like, oh great, a car seat, that's nice. I didn't realize how fabulous it is. I think it's the only car seat that turns into a buggy. So you hold the handle here and then you flip a thing at the back, so like their head's here, behind them you flip this thing and then out pops wheels and the handle turns into a little push chair um, and it means if you are, let's say, you go and put a petrol in the car 
and your baby's asleep but you can't leave them in the car while you go into the petrol station you don't have to take them out of the car seat and fiddle with the buckles you just take out the doona Woo! the wheels come down and off you go and then put them back in oh it's so good i'm so sad that pearl's aged out of it now um although we're giving our doona to a friend of mine who's pregnant so at least it's gonna live on in our hearts but yeah the doona it's it's amazing Ashley asks what are your thoughts on tattoos would you ever consider getting one if so what and my thoughts on tattoos are as follows I um and are ah about getting a tattoo I don't currently have any tattoos um, I do consider getting one that says mind over matter so mind and then a line and then matter um, or sometimes I consider getting like a very tiny line drawing of the Disney castle um, but then I think well in 10 years will I still be as obsessed with Disney who knows um, and what will that little like saying look like when I'm 80 if I live that long people that have tattoos what do you, do you like do you consider what it's gonna look like when you're old because these are things I worry about but maybe I'm worrying unnecessarily do they fade tattoos don't fade do they that's the nature of them they're permanent I don't know you don't see a lot of old people with full sleeves do you but is that a new trend I don't know I need some tattoo education in the comments please Shania says, if you could go back in time and tell your past self anything, what would it be? <sighs> Lots. I mean, it depends what time. If I'm going back to my teens, I would tell myself to sit tight, everything's going to be okay. Um, if I was going back to my 20s, I think I would tell myself to... Mm, what would I say for my 20s? My 20s were really a bit of a roller coaster because... I did it like the other way round. My early 20s, I was really settled and did a lot of quite adult things. Like I bought a house, had a baby, got married. And then it was my second half of my 20s that I sadly got divorced and like did a lot of dating and like had a lot of like wild adventures. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't think I would do anything differently. I think I would tell myself not to worry too much about the small things, not to sweat the small stuff because it will all work out all right in the end. This video is so long. I hope that you're just like having this on in the background while you do things and you're not just sitting here thinking, oh my God, will this ever end? Sorry. Soph says, how do you teach Pearl words? Uh, basically just talk to her a lot and now she's started kind of using her mouth to say different words. I can see she's trying to make the sounds. She's trying to like, you know like you have to put your tongue against your teeth and she's trying to sound things out so uh, I talk to her a lot and then I'll like hold things and be like oh look a chicken you say chicken chicken and then she'll try and say it and I'm like yes well done like encourage her a lot um I'm not really using any method or anything I'm just kind of going with the flow and um it seems to be working quite well Ariana says would you consider writing a children's book and the answer is watch this space Soph says, do you get overwhelmed with your children or life in general and how do you cope with that? And the answer is yes, all the time. Yes, I do. Um, and the way to cope with it is just to take each day at a time. And she's also asked about snacks. What's Pearl's favourite snack? She has a little boy at the same age. Um, so Pearl's favourite snack. Snack is her favourite word, by the way. She goes knack, 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 knack all the time. Um, her favourite snacks are raisins, little boxes of raisins, my gosh, and lots of things. Although I find raisins everywhere in my house, she just sprinkles them everywhere, sprinkle of raisins. Um, and she also likes those little goodies bars, the OTs bars, a lot. Um, and she likes bananas and pom bears. This is a good one, but I'm going to read it out so I don't mess it up. Art by Eri says, if there's one thing you would want to tell your daughters not to do, what would it be? And which daughter do you think would do the thing you said not to, even if you told them? Um, I like to think that both daughters would listen to their mother um, and, oh, my battery's going. So I like to think that both girls would listen to their mother and do as they're told. Um, but I think that Pearl will probably be the one that does things she's not supposed to. Um, there's lots of things I would tell them not to do, all the usual things like don't let um, don't let love interests walk all over you, don't try drugs, don't smoke, um, loads of things. But I think that probably Pearly is the one most likely to go against the grain. Darcy is a really risk averse child. She doesn't like to, she's a people pleaser, she's like me. So um, 
she wants to always please me and do as she's told and she she like really enjoys to be praised um and she takes it very seriously if she does something wrong whereas i think pearl already in her like very youthful age seems a lot more adventurous um that makes it sound like darcy's not adventurous pearl she doesn't care if if you tell her like don't go near that swing she don't care she's going near that swing she's not afraid to go down a slide even if it looks really big and tall and scary whereas darcy would have like assessed the risk a bit more and like made a maybe a better choice i don't know i think pearl pearl's gonna be a handful ginger asks would you ever do a book tour in america um and the answer is yes i probably would um you've mentioned here it'd be difficult with the family it would i would want to bring my family with me which would probably be a bit too costly for the publishing house because they're the ones that like fund these book tours so um it's probably not on the agenda at the moment but yes i would love to do it one day right i'm only halfway through these questions because they were so good um but i have been yabbering on for quite a lot of time now what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it here. If you liked this video and you would like another one, uh, I'll just answer the next half of the questions. Um, do let me know in the comments. If you feel like this is enough Q&A and you would like to just see um, something different, let me know. Um, I'm happy either way, but I feel like there are a lot of good questions and I feel bad for the people that didn't get their questions asked. So I could either do it on here or I could do the video and put it on Facebook and make the second half be on Facebook. Let me know whatever you like and I'll just kind of go with whatever seems like the best thing to do. Um, okay, I will leave it here because I've gabbled on. Um, lots of links below. I'm looking forward to getting back into the swing of things. I've got lots of sit down videos I would like to do. There's topics I'd like to talk about. If there's anything you'd like me to talk about in a sit down video, let me know. I'm wrapping it up. Thanks for watching. See you later. Goodbye.